while we have you here, you have you have some inside information on our boy Michael B. Jordan and Laura. <laughs> what inside information yeah, yeah, do you I have? You got inside yeah, information. Yeah, you know, no you know Laurel? That's my girl. I love L'Oreal. Okay, L'Oreal. Yeah. L'Oreal, yeah, okay. yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> What's the inside She's information? She's missing a letter for yeah, me to pronounce it's, it L'Oreal. No, oh, it's L-O apostrophe R-E-A-L. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's an apostrophe. Yeah. L-O okay. apostrophe R-E-A-L. Okay. I don't think there's no inside information. I mean, like, you want to know the conversation I had with L'Oreal? Yeah. Yes, please. Um, based about what specifically, though? Okay, so basically just the setup is she's interviewing Michael, Michael B. Jordan, Jordan on the red carpet. That's right. Right? And Michael B. Jordan is looking a little salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. He's confronting a bully. He is confronting, He's confronting a, a bully. You see a it. Bully. Look at it. Look at him. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about this. Look at him. All right, so here we go. Okay. Now, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? The corny kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Yo, I did not the say that. The eyebrow flick. Oh, for sure. No, you did not yep. hear me say that. I said we used to make fun of the name. Yep. But yeah, he is obviously killing How many head nods, yo? That's who shall we got. See, you, a, how many yeah. heads? You gotta keep, you gotta keep playing. Well, you gotta fast forward, but you gotta get to what L'Oreal said at the end. Okay, what did she say then? At the end, she said he's not corny anymore. Yeah. So from a from a personality perspective. Well, well thanks for pointing that out, L'Oreal. Yeah. Yeah. But, but no, <laughs> the but, but movie the superstar. Man in the world. The from man from a personality perspective, anymore. you can't do that after saying you didn't, didn't call him it. corny. Yeah. yeah. You can't come back at the end and be like, he's not corny anymore. Because you already said you didn't call him corny. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're yeah. admitting that you did call him corny. But she didn't though. Because based first off, she's like, I did not say that. I did not say that. Uh, she really did it. It was it was uh, Dominique the Diva. They were doing a podcast yeah. together. So this Dominique the, the Diva called him corny. Do you want to hear this? You know what I really think deep down inside? Sorry, I think that mean. Michael B. Jordan is just like a nice, corny guy. You know it's so crazy? I went to school with Michael B. So yeah, she calls him, or the one girl calls him a nice corny guy, and then she yeah. says, I went to school with him. That was Dominique the Diva saying She also said, like, oh, we used to make fun of him. What you gonna do with them stupid little hashtags? Exactly. Well, as I told L'Oreal, the thing that she has to eat is, like, that's the that's the problem, right? What you gonna do with them stupid little headshots? Mm. Become one of the biggest superstars in the world. Yeah. So once that happens, you just gotta take the L on that one. Yeah, but why is he still tight? Son. Everybody's tight over people that got. If you got teased nah. in high school about something and you became you became that something, you want to tell everybody. Here's they're one wrong. thing. Let me. In, let, I want to know your thoughts. I'm okay. not arguing with you. He was in the wire, probably shooting by the time he was 14. So yeah. he was already winning. So he already. I'm on a. I'm on an HBO show. Even if it wasn't popping for a few years, yeah. what am I gonna do with those stupid headshots? I'm on an HBO show. I you really? know HBO don't pay for shit if he's still living in Newark. <laughs> like, man, you're a child yeah. star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still going to yeah, school. Yeah, you're in the wire. You're going back to the yeah. wire. To the wire. <laughs> like, yeah, he's I'm method. method. Yeah. I, I think the other big issue here is what? Why? What do we define as corny nowadays? You know what I'm saying? Like, why was Michael B. Jordan corny? Because he had a dream and some ambition. I think we're gonna embrace corny like we embrace washed. You know how older people are like, I'm washed and I'm yeah, okay with absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's, it's the same way I'm we corny. used to call Drake corny back in the day, and now everybody is on his dick. Yeah. Back, in the, yeah. I'm back in the day. I'm consistently still calling him corny. <laughs> See, I don't uh, think not, as much, corny. not as much. I don't mean it. used to call him still... super soft and all that stuff, and then you got a couple bottles, and then all of a sudden he's all right. No. <laughs> 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 no, 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 well, I did. I loved how he handled that situation with Meek Mill. So that was the turning point for me being like, yeah. oh, man, I like the way this guy gets down. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Meek was going to be the ruthless motherfucker to come out with two records back to back. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the best way to answer somebody, you say I'm a ghostwriter, all right, we'll get these bars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. On behalf of corny people, we tend to hold on to shit and just that's yeah. Yeah. Drake had that building okay. for years. But okay. what's not corny, though? Like, all this shit that we consider cool, nine times out of ten, was just some criminal shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like all it's of my fuckers, so cool. yeah, all of my fuckers who considered cool in school ended up probably in prison because that's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being bad is cool, yeah. and that's being corny. Being good isn't cool. But that's no, corny. being good is corny, but being corny makes you a millionaire. I like. Listen, I would rather my daughter date the corny guy. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what no, I mean? No. Okay, so that's what you're saying. You're saying that the the description was accurate. He yeah. was corny, and his corniness led him to be a mega star, super Absolutely. successful. He just hasn't accepted that his corny is, is what makes him great. Yeah, all the cool kids was skip, they skip, skipping. Jail. They were skipping class. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cutting they school to go smoke weed. Exactly. They're gangsters right now. So, but well, it, it, what I'm saying is, I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing a guy who's like really upset. Like it really bothered him 
that this girl called him corny. Yeah, 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 like the yeah, head yeah, yeah. not like a million, like he was yeah, waiting for yeah, that yeah. moment. He could have walked right by her. I, I like how Dominique Son, the D would double down. You don't hold the grudge? Son, it, you I, don't I, hold the grudge? Can I be honest? Only with people that are higher than me. Son, you, you, <laughs> you, 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 I'm you, being honest. Let's go. No, no, once, like, he passes I, look, once I pass you, it all just melts away. There are people that were like dicks to me when I started comedy. I told you I, I had a list. Yes, I remember I that. I kept a list for them. And everyone I passed, it, evapor it evaporated. My anger evaporated for them. And I see them and I dab I them up. Yeah. People that diss you now, like you've gone back at them. Yeah. That are smaller than you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Rarely, though. <laughs> it's Rarely, though. Son, it's rare. Rare. Imagine he was getting bullied <laughs> Two crazy weeks ago. in high school. Oh, that, but that's what that means. That he means was, those jokes, no, he was, he was those jokes they were they doing was, was yeah. fire. Yeah. Yeah. If you still remember that shit at 33, yo. Those yeah. jokes that you was getting hit with in high school Bro, must have been I'm, fire. They might have thought I've he said was... this on the podcast before, but I think I said it. I don't know if I said it, but like, I this made me realize I definitely talked some shit about Michael B. Jordan and forgot I did. Really? Yeah, because I met him the other day. I was having I was having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I was having dinner with, with a. You know, Game of Thrones. Orange is the new black. No, what's no, that shit no. called? Game of, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're doing a movie, and we were just having dinner to meet, whatever like that, and Michael B. Jordan came over to the table, and he went, and he shook and I had my hand out for like a good two minutes. He must have shook everybody else's hand at the fucking table <laughs> before he finally came out around to me. And I was like, is he doing this on purpose? Like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck's going on? And then I saw the L'Oreal shit and I was like, oh no, I've said some uh, things. That's, that's why you're like, like this shit. Listen, listen. That's All why you're saying is, listen. if it makes you feel better, the second he gets bigger than Michael B. Jordan, he forgive Michael B. That's Jordan. Sucks. Did you see how Dominique the D would double down though? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's posted on her Instagram. Yeah, she posted on her Instagram story. Any black man that dates white women is corny. <laughs> Who said that? The woman that <laughs> called him corny originally. Yeah. So she doubled down on it, bro. You would probably date yeah. black women if y'all didn't call him corny all the yeah, fucking that's, time. That's actually a good-ass point. Like, yeah, I don't even want to I don't even want to tease Michael about that no more. About what, dating white women? Yeah. Why? Because I be joking, but now it seems like that's really You're a thing. You're not joking. I be joking. You know, you got some Umar in you. No, no, no. <laughs> you do have some Umar in no, you. No, I do, but I, I, I believe love is love. You know what I'm saying? But what? he was just dating Lori oh, Harvey. Honest. What? Be honest. You know what I mean? We're here. Oh, no, no. Be I believe black men should be with black women. That's a fact. I am, I am, I am <laughs> with that. You know and what I mean? And then when they're not. When they're not, they're not. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when they're, they're not, they're what does not. that mean? About, like, what do you mean by it? Depends, I don't it, think, it depends. It I depends. don't think Michael B. If, Jordan's corny. If you're a pro, no, I don't think Michael B. Jordan's corny, but if you're one of these pro black people, like you wake up in the morning and you can't wait to, you know, to be black. To yeah. be black, like you yeah. getting at everybody, you attacking <laughs> yeah, 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 racism. Yeah, yeah. Like, but then you go in the street. Yes, there's people but, but then you got, yeah, but then yeah, you got yeah. a white yes, spouse, there are, there's a white significant other. It's like, come on, bro. That's my least favorite. Come on, sisters. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's what I. That's what, what about. What about black women to date white dudes? Same thing. Same. But Especially if you're super pro black. Yeah. If you're super pro black about it, it's like. You know why they're. What about the black love is revolutionary. What about bro. AOC? What about AOC? <laughs> what is it? AOC's not. What is she? Afro. She's Afro Latino. What about her? She's dating the least black person possible. Yeah. Really? She's dating a ginger. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. I didn't no, know that. No. You didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Yes, bro. Really? Yes. That you know that why? That don't bother me for some reason. Why? why I think, not? I don't know. That don't bother me. Do politicians me. like transcend race a little if bit? If Ayanna Presley was doing that, I might be like, ah, oh, come on, Ayanna. Mm. But wait, who's Ayanna Presley? Ayanna's the, uh, the, another member of the squad. Oh, she yeah. Is. She got a brother. She got a brother, but I met her husband. Yeah, that don't bother me seeing AOC. With a ginger. You know why I think they're so militant is they're insecure about the fact that they're attracted to this other race and they might get mocked Come for it. Come on, so man. Come on, man. Come on, man. But they don't Come overcompensate man. by dating them. Come on, man. Yeah, well, they're not going to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's too much. Come on, man. But I think a thing a lot of people don't, don't talk about is like, there's a lot of black dudes that would like to date black women, but black women aren't into them. And so that, they're relegated to dating outside their race. I, I and then they get shit on for dating I, outside their I race. I think that's a misconception. I think that, you know, there's plenty of black women that want to date black men, but everybody has all of these, like, you know, standards and these, these, these rules of engagement that don't even necessarily make sense. Like, it's all of these things that keep us from actually, you know, bonding with each other. Like, what you just said is one of those things. What like, I said. like, you said uh, black women... Uh, uh, what do you say? Black women want to date black men, but they don't. For what do you say? What reason was that? Black so men. Black, black, black men want to date black women. There are black dudes that want to date black women, but black yeah. women are like, nah, these dudes. This dude's corny. I don't want to date him. And then a white girl might. So he's like, okay, I got. And that could be Michael B. Jordan. Go where you're celebrating, not where you tolerate. Those were two black women calling Michael B. Jordan corny. But that's their. Whoa. That's, that's their Whoa, opinion. Whoa, Al. Son. Think about that. And by the way, context matters, right? Yeah. Because L'Oreal's talking about high school. 
That's a difference. But those you know are I mean? formative years, man. Those All of us were corny years. in high school in yeah, some but, way, shape, or form. They, they might have thought he was cornier because he's in. he lives in Newark, and then he's acting as a drug dealer, and it's like... Bro, there's plenty of real drug dealers here, and you, yeah, you go on a fucking yeah. set to be one. Yeah. Now, Dominique, D Dominique the Diva, her point of saying, you know, any black man that dates white women is corny, that's talking about Michael now. L'Oreal's mm -hmm. talking about Michael from back then. I think that's the difference. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that needs context. I guess yeah. what I'm saying to defend him is don't you think in formative years, if the black women you grew up with are calling you corny, it could push you to be an attractive? Because now you're on set, there's white girls everywhere, you're on meetings in LA, you're on Beverly you got, Hills 902. You gotta think about where you at, you in Newark. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out of Newark, you'll probably find some black women that appreciate the corny. In Newark, you don't want no corny, especially back then. Yeah, corny you, gets who killed. Exactly. You want what you think is cool. Your back food. then, it probably was the drug dealer, the shooter, the gang member back back then. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he comes across as a hero for like a lot of people after this. Like all the kids oh, yeah. that get Absolutely. bullied, like all the young kids oh, now yeah. that are getting bullied in high Absolutely. school. And yeah. girls are like Absolutely. the incel types. They're looking at this and they're like, that's And the me. dreamers. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. dreamers. Everybody wants them. I think you look a little too angry about it. Nah, so nah, girls just laugh it, at it. Nah, Who cares? I, nah, I told L'Oreal. It's still bothering him. And the crazy part is L'Oreal is known as the bully, right? Yeah. If, right? If he, yeah. That's he's a problem. Yo, that's, that's a if she called him corny right there to his face, he would have punched her in the mouth. No. I think he would have. Well, that would work for her. <laughs> no, that would work for her. What way? That's the only way to win in that situation. He would have to jump out the window and hit her. Uh, now, any other any other way this played out, she's the bully in this situation. Yeah. So in order to, to be a victim, she would have to really be a victim. She'd she would have, have to, to yeah. do something uh, like that to her. There's no, and I told her that there's no way for you to win this. Yeah. Like this is every dreamer's dream, yeah. right? Like like the person who used to shit on you, yeah. told you that you wasn't gonna be shit, laughed at you walking around mm -hmm. with your headshots. Now on the precipice of me having my First movie that I directed and starring, yeah, I get to slap. see you on the red carpet of my shit yeah. and check you. Ooh. So you tell me, not uh, you're not saying nothing to come that on, man. person, bro. Come I think on, man. He'd be funny. Come on, man. About it. Come on, man. You eyeing that motherfucker. That's why I don't understand LeBron on, James and Skip Bayless. He's a liar. I'm shocked, yo, I'm you shocked LeBron liar. James has never spiked the ball on Skip Bayless show. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. When would he be yeah. able to? What you mean? The, time, the times he's won championships, the time he's broke the scoring record, he's still considered, you know, the number two greatest player of all time. Like, now's the time to pop your don't shit if you're going to pop your shit. Don't give them the glory. Uh, yeah, don't give me attention. You don't think so? That's no, Skip it drives Skip crazy. It drives him fucking crazy, the fact that LeBron won't even mention yeah, that, that's him. That's what even, you should even, do, but it feels good to Even do. when Skip's talking about you. It feel good, you, but that shows the emotional security of LeBron. Like, it's really impressive LeBron yeah, doesn't do that. Right. What I'm saying is I'd like to see Michael B do but this we know, right But here. we know LeBron don't really have it. Exactly. Yo, I, all I'm saying, wait, LeBron doesn't have it? Bro, we saw LeBron about to fight somebody because they were teasing him about his hairline as he was walking off the court. that motherfucker was right there, bro. You got yeah. your wife and in the crowd, insecure. you got your side chick. Like, there's a lot of people yeah. there that, that, that could be embarrassed in front of you. <laughs> yeah. It might be the hairline He's shit. insecure about his hairline. He's not insecure about his basketball ability. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very insecure. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. actually a great point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're yeah. tapping yeah. into the yeah. thing that he's insecure about. Yeah. That's where you're going to react. Yeah. And also, yeah. LeBron's patient, I guarantee, when he goes to retire, he'll say some shit. Because think about it. When yeah. he uh, broke that's the scoring record, he dropped the F-bomb live while they were talking. I mean, no. Which F bomb? He, he called, that matters. He, call, he yeah. called Skip an F bomb, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. nah, but he said fuck while he was like, oh, um, fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, come yeah, on, that's yeah, not the bomb. But he, yeah. but that ain't the he's new been so clean all these years. He's fuck like, oh, a I'm a job one too. We know what the yeah. nuke yeah. is. Yeah. We know what the nuke yeah, is. Yeah, you gotta drop the nuke like when we're describing your outfit. I knew I had to get one out. I know, I know. It looks good, bro. Good. I'm not, you know. Yeah. Actual Michael nah, B. Jordan like question. Is it kind of weird that he still did the interview? Like, if he just dunked on her or walked off, I'd have thought it was funny or whatever. But the fact that he still stayed and answered like four questions legitimately after that, I respect I like, that. It shows he's a professional. That. Yeah. yeah, I respect he won, that. You won already. Yeah. You won already. And that's why I said at the end, L'Oreal should not have said, but you're not corny anymore. Like, don't even acknowledge. You just, you said you didn't call him corny. So don't even go back to that making it seem like you did. You know yeah. what I mean? That just seems a little strange. Yeah. That's all. I think she just panicked. You think so? She got confronted by this guy. She's talking about on a podcast. You get confronted all of a sudden yeah. on the red carpet interviewing him at his event. You lost. But You're you gotta be, you gotta be prepared for that moment. Like if I'm yeah. like, like I think she knew. Okay, I'm going to I'm doing the red carpet at Creed Three. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan's probably gonna walk this red carpet.